equation of locus when they talk about equation of locus you need to apply the distance formula so in this case a point Q moves such that it's distant from P means that QP is always 6 units in this case you do not know what is Q but you know what is P like what I say when I ask you to find the equation of locus you need to apply the distance formula for QP and make it equal to 6 so this is the distance formula equal to 6 so your Q is X and your P is 2 Q is Y and P is 7 so in this case expand the equation bring your square root to the other side you have x minus 2 square plus y minus 7 square equal 6 square expand the whole equation x square minus 4x your 4x is x times negative 2 times negative 2 plus 4 4 is from negative 2 square plus y square minus 14y plus 49 equal 36 and then bring everything to one side you will have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 14y 4 plus 49 you will get 53 minus 36 you will get a positive 17 and equal to 0 always make it equal to 0 this is your equation of locus and always remember to expand a uh, quadratic you can use this method or you can use another method which is the first variable is your x square and plus your second variable is your x times negative 2 times a 2 plus your last variable will be negative 2 square so this is how I find my expansion over here in other cases, the equation of locus doesn't have to be equal to a value. It can also equal to the other parts. Let's say the diagram shows a triangle PQR. I have PQR coordinate and a point A moves such that it's distant from P. Means that AP is always twice from R. Means that AR. So in previous question, QP is equal to 6. In this case, your AP is equal to 2AR. And I have no idea what is A. So what I do is label A as X, Y, P as the coordinate shown in the diagram, and your R is 1, negative 1. In this case, apply the formula of uh, distance into the equation equal to 2 square root bracket square plus bracket square so a is your x and your p is negative 2 so negative negative will get you a positive 2 and y will be y minus 5 positive 5 so minus 5 in this case a is your x r is your 1 and y is your y is your from your a and negative 1 is from your r so negative negative 1 will give you a positive to expand this, first eliminate the square root. To eliminate the square root, square the whole thing. It will give you x plus 2 square here, plus y minus 5 square, equal 2 square will give you a 4, come with a big bracket, and this is what you have. Then expand the whole equation. This is what you have y square minus 10y plus 25 equal to 4 x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square plus 2y plus 1 so expand this by times the 4 to all the equation here you will have 4x square minus 8x plus 4y square plus 8y 1 plus 1 2 2 times 8 will give you a plus 8 so let's bring everything to the right hand side as we can see this is 4x squared if we bring to the right hand side it will become a positive x squared still so let me copy all this down first all right bring to the right hand side 
If you bring to the left hand side, it means that your x square have to minus 4 x square, you will get a negative 3 x square. So if I bring the right hand side, it will be then equal to 0. 4 x square minus x square, 4 y square minus y square, minus 8 x minus 4 x plus 8 y plus 10 y plus 8 and minus 29. And at the end of the result, you have 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 12x plus, this is 8 plus 10, you will have a positive 18y minus 29 plus 8 will give you a negative 21 equal to 0. So this is your final answer. But then you can see that it can be simplified by dividing the whole equation with 3. So you will have x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y minus 7 equal to 0. So this is your equation of locus. So that's all for chapter 6. Thank you.